Okay, I'm going to quickly show you how to do a host profile for visit using PBS. Uh, so here I'm on a Mac. So I'm actually going to start up visit on my local machine. So the point is, visit running on your local machine is going to connect and submit your PBS job for you and set up the PBS script and run everything for you. And the PBS and the uh, visit server running on the cluster will actually talk back over SSH directly to your viewer. So you shouldn't have any X forwarding like you had in your email. So, so I have visit actually running on my local machine. Now the host profile for our system, which uses PBS, uh, my machine's Nix login, um, to test, I told you to do a interactive job. Uh, as you can see here, I just called it interactive. For, um, the host is Nix login. Now we have two login hosts. So we have Nix login one, Nix login two. So I quickly added this here. Um, username, timeout, and then the directory. So this is actually the directory you installed visit in. If I look at the terminal real quick on our cluster, we'll see that home software. See, this is the usual visit stuff, which I have these two different versions installed. I remember your viewer installed on your local machine, in this case, visit on my Mac, must be the same version. So I must have either version 1.10 or 1.7. Okay, so I've set that. For the parallel options, I just set MPI run and one processor. I didn't do anything fancy. So if I just hit apply with that, oh, also real quick, uh, tunnel data through SSH. This makes it so you don't have to do the firewall stuff you were talking about doing. You don't need that at all. Um, visit set up really well for this. So tunnel over SSH, MPI run. Um, I'm not doing anything else because I'm not going through PBS right now. I'm just going to try to make sure I can talk directly to the cluster. Hit apply. I'll go back to visit. Open a file. I'll put the host name here which this case is Nick's login. And see, it's actually going to prompt me for my SSH password at the machine I put in the host profile. So it's starting the metadata server. So all of this is happening just on the login node. I am not actually doing PBS yet. Make sure this works first before you do anything else. And see, here's all my files on our Lustre file system on uh, that machine. Okay, so instead now what I'm going to do is let's look at the difference for doing through a PBS job. Okay, so in this case I'm going to use the parallel one. Parallel launch method, QSUB MPI run. QSUB is for PBS. QSUB, 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 QSUB. Okay, uh, I don't have anything else. This is the Q you submit to, so this is the minus Q option to QSUB. Uh, I'm going to say two processor, one node. Bank, this would be your account. I don't need to specify one. Time limit, I've got 15 minutes. This is your wall clock. Still tunnel over SSH. That's the only thing that's different. These are all the options you would give to PBS, but you're not going to do them. Uh, Visit's going to do it for you. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. So I'm going to open a file again. I'm still here. Um, so I'm going to go, let me go open up, whoops, open up these flash files with, you know, multiple gigabyte, not something I could do on my normal laptop. I select parallel instead of interactive. If I do this one, it just runs on the login node. Make sure this works first. This is going to be the PBS one. You can see here, since I had those checked, this is my wall clock option. This is my A option, this is nodes, well this is nodes, and this is going to be um, set PPN, which will be just, you know, this option here divided by that. So if, uh, this will give me um, nodes equals 2, PPN equals 1, I, I'm pretty sure. So I hit OK. So I see it's trying to start up. If I actually look on the cluster now, I see that I have a job that has the name visit for 15 minutes two nodes and you can see that everything is set by visit correctly for me it's, it's, it's all done you don't have to do anything no interactive jobs no nothing it does the right thing so 
don't worry about it. So now the job's actually running, and I can actually um, plot a file now if I want to. Um, I'm not going to, but that's it. That's all you have to do. So let Visit do it all for you. No exporting, no submitting jobs yourself. Visit does it for you.